So um, today we're here with some wonderful young gentlemen and, and ladies, and we're going to be talking a little bit about the PB, PBL process, um, particularly focusing on the PBL process here at Cast Tech and the Senior Legacy Project. So we're going to go around, and if you'll say your name and your grade level, and then a one word that comes to mind when you hear the words project-based learning or PBL. All right, ready to go? Um, I'm Nicholas Maldonado. I'm a Cass Tech senior, and the word I think of when I hear project-based learning is impact. My name's Ileana Morales, also a senior. I think everybody here is. Um, the word that comes to mind is opportunity. My name is Jesus Briones, and I'm also a senior. Uh, the word that I that I think of when I hear PBL is progress. Hi, I'm Dominic Ruiz. Uh, and the first thing that comes to mind when I think of PBL is... Oh, I forgot my word. <laughs> uh, perspective. Uh, my name is Damien. I'm a senior at uh, Cass Tech. And the one word that I think about when I think of PBL is... Take my word. <laughs> Togetherness. Yeah. yeah. Do you want his word? Wait. Well, yeah, take my word. I don't remember what, what was your word. Togetherness. Oh. No, I know that. Togetherness is a good word. Passion. The other people. That was mine. Oh. Passion? Wait. Wait. All right. My name is Kevin. Do you want to start over again? Let's start yeah, over again because I, I think I'm going to get a little better. Dude, I forgot okay. my word. Yeah. Just took my word. Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah, you could have had new words too. So, um, it like, now, as soon as now I got, to, like, slipped my mind. To Ileana's point, you don't have to say you're senior because I just said I'm with seniors. I oh. Oh. Head, so. Do you, like, need, uh, do you need an index card to write down your words? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, I don't. I'm okay. Mario, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> no, I got it. I think I think it was the real. Camera. I keep I kept thinking of the apple, and so I kept thinking of I kept, I kept thinking of appealing. I don't know why. I kept thinking of appealing. You should have said appealing. Appealing. Oh. Apple. Oh my god. I wanted to think of it. But now I couldn't think of it. Oh, great. We should all just say fruits and vegetables. Okay. All right. You already have the intro? Okay. Ready, set, go. Oh, uh, my name is Nicholas Maldonado, and the word I think that the word that I think of whenever it comes to project based learning is impact. My name is Ileana Morales, and the word that I think of is opportunity. My name is Jesus Briones, and whenever I think of PBL, I think of uh, progress. Hi, I'm Dominic Ruiz, and my word is passion. My name is Damien, and when I think of PBL, I think of um, perspective. Hi, my name is Kevin De La Cruz, and the word that I think of is togetherness. My name is Ethan, and whenever uh, someone says what's PBO, I think it is uh, challenging, and it's very challenging. Hi, um, I'm Brianna, and the word I thought of was fun. Fun. I'm Adeleza, and the word I thought of was adapt. Yeah. My name is Jesslyn, and the word that I thought of was teamwork. What's what? Teamwork. Teamwork. My name is Mia, and my word is what? <laughs> Uh, my name is Juan, and my word is uh, agency. Agency. My name is Jacob Lopez, and my name. Uh, <laughs> my word is creative. Um, my name is Jude Gabriel, and the first word when I thought of PBL um, was apple. Apple. Okay. Woo! All right. I love it. You guys are awesome. Um, so I want you to kind of frame um, this next question, thinking about um, your, we're, you're now almost coming up on the end of your senior year legacy PBL project. Um, many of you have been here for four years, some three years as we talked earlier. Think about your PBL journey when you answer this question, um, maybe from the beginning of your experience with PBL to getting ready for your senior showcase on May 1st. Um, so that's that's one frame, and I want you to use that to kind of respond to someone who may be wondering what PBL is, who's never heard of it or never experienced it. 
So that's kind of your audience, someone who doesn't know about PBL. So you're going to frame it with, you know, this whole journey. Um, and, and maybe how would you describe that journey? Um, again, thinking that the audience doesn't know a lot about PBL. So with PBL, it's, it's, there's no, like, there's no lesson plan for it. There's just, it's very student led. And you, I mean, they do give you some like paper to go by, like a little diagram, but you don't have to use that. You do your own research on like what your project's about. Like if, for us, it was togetherness, and we wanted to see like, oh, what are the things that um, like stir away like the students from hanging out with each other, just talking to each other, communicating as like a class. So that's that's the, that's the thing about PBO. It's very student led. I would just describe it as like an issue you see in the school. Rather, it's big or small. It could be the floor is too slippery, or you can tackle a bigger uh, thing of stoplights uh, over there. People, cars going too fast might hit students. Um, but you could just really pick an idea and just run with it, like togetherness. Like I'd say the group that I came up with at the end was not who I thought I was going to be grouping with. Because when we started it, we just put ideas on a paper and went and vocalized them. And rather, who thought your idea was good or not, like whatever ideals led together, that's who you were gonna be with. It's like a, very not work with your friends because you, you wanna get your work done and you kinda wanna like spread apart, kinda, almost. I don't know how to explain that. That's good advice. EBL is just overall a very impact-based class. Um, I wouldn't say it's solely reliant on it, but I would say like, one of the main focal points, no matter the theme, is always just impact. Um, it's mainly the impact you make on Cast Tech, the m impact you make on the people around you, your class level, whatever, and also the impact you make on yourself. What changes do you personally see in yourself that you can adapt for the future? Like, what skills have I learned throughout PBL? Can I use for the future for like whatever job I want to do, whatever career I want to pursue? It's overall just an impact-based thing. Like, again, what Dominic said, where um, you work with people that you don't never thought that you would ever work with, total strangers, then they, they could soon become your friends. They could soon become future team members that you want to work with in the future for whatever future you have. Um, but overall, PBL is just a very, very impact and legacy-based class, no matter what the theme. And I think that no matter if you're disinterested in the class, if you don't really care about it, I feel like no matter what, you should still put your all into it because this is, oh, at the end of the day, the impact you have on Cast Tech. Yeah, um, I think PBL is this like huge project that you just have over your whole course of your senior year, and it just it starts at the beginning and it ends at the end, and throughout it, you learn what it truly is, and it's very hard to explain because everyone's experience with PBL is. And it's just different because we're all doing different things. And your, your experience with it is just gonna be your experience with it. Like mine is just very different from Jude's just because we're in a different group. And it's, it's very much us just like saying, hey, this is us and I want the school to know what my project is and what I am and what I am through my project. And I'm just gonna show it to the school and hopefully it leaves a mark on it and sometimes it doesn't, and that's fine. And that's pretty much it. I say going back to uh, I say I say going back to the legacy part. For for us, we wanted to unite grade levels. So what we wanted to like leave behind is like a, like kind of an event where they can everybody like all grade levels could come and just hang out and just make friends and make connections off their shared interests. So we, we made we made like a little small event. It was just video games. And uh, Damien, he, he right here, he made, uh, he made some questions for them to answer while they were playing. And they all loved it, they all liked it. And after the event, um, one of the, well, some of the students, they, like a couple weeks after, they were asking, they're like, oh, when is the next one? Like, when is it gonna happen? So it felt, it felt good that like our solution made like it made an impact on someone at least, and they were engaged. And 
um, a, a junior, he was asking too. He's like, oh, is this like, is this PBL? He was, we're like, oh yeah, like you could you could pick up this project if you like, if you want to next year, or you can branch off a little bit more on what we're doing. I say that's another thing is going into PBL, like kind of what Jacob was saying in the beginning, and then towards the end, like in the beginning, I had no idea what PBL was. I didn't even know like what it stood for. So when they were talking about it, I was kind of scared because they're like, yeah, it's a project-based class. Like you have to do this. Like you have one project you do and you do it throughout the year. I thought, oh, well, I'm skipping this class. Like I'm not, like, not going to be engaged. But the very first day changed my mind immediately. It was just so different that it's like, throw your ideas out and then go find a group. And you're just like, oh, okay, that's kind of, don't like throwing us in the lion's pen. Like it's just very out of the, yeah, and once it's, it's like our first, like, feeling of freedom, I feel like, that we have as high schoolers. We finally get this project that low-key been hyped up, <laughs> like, throughout, because, like, <laughs> like, if you're coming here, like, during AVIDS, um, eventually you're going to have to see one of our PBLs, because we will come, like, the seniors go into an AVID classroom, and then they're going to present to you their PBL, and then you get to see that every year, and so every year, you're like, oh, what is this? Or, oh, what is this? And then, like, mm -hmm. you see a different presentation. You see, like, something different. And then it, it low-key confuses you because you don't yeah. know, like, what what everyone's yeah. doing. Because, yeah. like, cause, like, I had one where it was just, like, they wanted to fix the air quality. And they came in, and then you were like, okay, how do you fix the air quality? And then the next one was just video games. And I was just like... What is this class? <laughs> it's like, like what, are, what are they? What are these people doing? And it's, it's you. It's really much like. It's, it's your creative vision at the end of the day, and it's it's however you want to take that class, you take it, and you leave your impact in it. And I feel, give it your all when you're coming into it, because like you have to be very open. You do because it's it's just different. It's just a different thing. It's not like your everyday class. Yeah. So you mentioned, I'm gonna kind of probe a little bit. You mentioned the, the part about it's the first time really that you felt like freedom in a class. So, and then your, your discussion on um, your feelings around when they came in during Abbott, really yeah. you had no context for it, but you could PBL be done with other grade levels and in other content areas? Or is it only something that can happen at the senior level? Um, oh, I've heard that like other schools are also doing PBL with the younger kids. So I did it in Kregel's class in Spanish. But I feel like as like a senior, you've been through it like four years already, so you kind of see like problems that come up, and you just you kind of it's kind of different perspective from a freshman that just sure. just brand new yeah. to the school doesn't even know like half of the cl like teachers yeah, and by your senior year you know like all the teachers names you've already been through them and you know basically all your classmates at that point sometimes but yeah you just have a different perspective than different grade levels because you've been here so long because <laughs> even gar like my pbl teacher is garza she doesn't skate at all she doesn't uh, do that but she kind of would still help me and try to gear me towards something else and like well you can use this in a different way what about like our like our group is together and so originally I wanted to do skateboarding I wanted it to be more represented at the school and she was like well what if instead of that you just brought people together like because that's the whole thing you want to do is bring skaters together why not bring everybody together and do something different and so that's kind of like what fired me up for PB like our PBL whenever we were doing is like I want to get as many people involved as I can like no one is left out. I would go in the hallway and be like, "You want to skip Avid? Let let like let's go do this real quick. Like <laughs> like let's go play some games and like just talk." And that I think that's like they are heavy inspirations for that because they would just push it so much. It's sort of like riding a bicycle in a way. It's like that's the most vague simile I can think of. Like riding mm -hmm. a bicycle, being like, "Oh, whenever you first hear about riding a bicycle, it's like, oh, I want to do all these tricks. I want to do all this and all that." But then that extra guidance, like with our PBL teachers, being like, hold on, slow your roll, you need to learn how to do this first. You know, like, and then once you learn how to do that, then you basically have your own path. Um, the teachers overall just really help you make your project you, but also manageable. 
like yeah a passion project is a passion project but you also have to make sure that project is manageable that it's for you because at the end of the day your passion project is you it's a reflection of your identity it's a reflection on who you are as a person and i feel like the teachers really help with that the teachers really really helped our group this year they really helped us like for example this year my pbo group we went to the um speak up speak out competition and if it wasn't for our teachers then one we wouldn't have a ride all the way to austin <laughs> and two we wouldn't have that motivation that drive to help us you know go through that journey help us go through the struggles even though it was it was, it was okay even though it was like all right but overall it was just they really helped us throughout that journey they have make it a really notable moment in the pbl class and really helped us stand out and so I, I, I'm going to just switch gears just a little bit, and maybe this might be a little uncomfortable, but you've talked about the process and you've talked about um, your teachers. Um, how have you grown? How are you different, if, if any, right? Are you different in any kind of way, shape, or form because of PBL? And, and some of you have been using the word impact, but has it impacted you? And if so... You know, talk about yourself. It's okay to talk about yourself. I think, um, so our PBL was the newspaper, and we were, <laughs> me and him been talking about this, like, Cast forever. Inks. Yeah, casting. And if you have to say it very distinctly. <laughs> <laughs> say it slow. Yeah. That's slow. You might say casting. You're right. But, uh, <laughs> it's catchy. It's catchy. But, uh, yeah, me and JP been talking about that idea since, what, like, sophomore year? Sophomore year. Since sophomore year, and... Like we've asked teachers like hey how do we do this how do we figure this out and then it wasn't until this then pbo were like or then i met, met um ruby and we're uh, we went to the newspaper with um san antonio express news and that also just kindled the fire and iliana joined and then like that group i feel like i have grown because now i see the school differently and i see the community differently and i see like just talking to people because our group is it's the newspaper we have to talk to people <laughs> um we, i have to stick my camera into people's faces even though they don't want me to but uh <laughs> i just have to you know and um it's very it's crazy because like i see like <laughs> <laughs> like um sophomore year i never thought that i would be able to rock around the school and see my newspaper and like see something that we created and we put out there and we published and students are actually enjoying it and enjoying the the process of reading this and like this idea of that I that we just had just randomly we're just like let's do it <laughs> you know and it's like it's impactful it's like changed my idea of what I want to do and like it's pushed me further into pursuing like a career of photojournalism mm -hmm. in in college and like seeing how like how do I, how do I just approach talking to someone like how do I approach talking to someone differently because each person you have to talk to differently each person you have to interview differently and it's like it's just changed mm -hmm. like just by nature it's going to change you. It's just going to make me grow more mature and grow up. Cause, yeah. I mean, like, for, for me, like, like he said, we've been trying to do this since, like, sophomore year. And I'm a very fast person. Like, I, I, I like to work really fast. But because I like to do that, I get, like, burnt out really fast. And here, like, with PBO, because we have more people, I learned that, like, oh, maybe teamwork isn't as bad, right? Mm -hmm. I, I learned to like actually work with people instead of just like carrying a burden by myself and just like, I can do it, I can do it, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. But like, I guess that's why, that's what I took from people. It's just like, it's okay to work with people. It's okay to just like, not carry everything yourself, not do everything yourself. Yeah, it made me more comfortable in a group scenario. Like, <laughs> like, like him, I'm very creative in the way like when I see my art I want no one to touching it like if I shoot film I have to develop I have to scan I have to buy the film myself I have to just find a way to make my art mine and this is really like 
been like, maybe it is fine to let people like touch that creative process, that idea. And it's, it's really seen, like just opening up myself to like the idea of groups and teamwork. Yeah, I would say that's the biggest way I've changed is uh, I, w I was super uh, shelled off. Like if, I w if you weren't already an established friend that I made, I'm not talking to you, I'm ignoring you, I'm walking straight past you in the hallway. Don't, don't even try to say hi to me. But now, like, with the togetherness, I'm like, well, I guess I kind of have to preach this. So I would just go in the hallways. Like, now I just randomly go in the hallway and, like, be a random person. I'm just like, yo, what's up, bro? Like, at first, people, like, the people that are nervous, like they said, there are different types of people you have to interact with. But I'm a very, well, I'm just going to tell you how I'm, like, how I'm doing, how it is. Like, I'm very loud, very, very charismatic. Like, I'm just everywhere all the time. So I, I go like that to some people, and they do freak out, and they're like, they kind of like stay quiet, but they kind of break out of that shell the more, the more like I do it. So it's like, it kind of breaks them out. And now some of the people I have done that to are like, now I see them doing the same thing, or they're just more talkative to other people. So I, I think that's one thing that PBL helped, was helping me like be more friendly towards people. Cause yeah, yeah I, feel like, oh, I feel like the way I've grown is to talk to both, like everybody, like it's not just your friends, like to branch out and it kind of taught me how to like talk to a bunch of like different people and different like personalities, not just in school, like outside of school too, like where I'm just out and about, just everyone my friend. And how Dom says like so, like I would just walk past people, like if it's not my friend, I was like okay, keep going. But like now I just say oh what's up, like oh hi, like especially from the people that did the event with us, they're just like oh they'll say hi to me, or sometimes they'll say hi to Damien. Like did you say hi to everybody? like it just it just opened my eyes to everybody. Not just my friends. I think it's a lot of like stepping out of your comfort zone, having to speak with like like administrators for us because we're like pep rally. We gotta get everything confirmed by them. So like having like going out and finding them, talking to them, and then getting shut down a couple of times, mm -hmm. it really like helps you like get out of your comfort zone. Like you can use it for like different stuff. Like I use it whenever I'm at work to voice my opinion whenever I want like a day off. <laughs> But like I want to leave early, <laughs> I like I, I'm able to stand up for myself and like voice my opinion to them. I think adding one to onto what uh, Kevin said about like being more open um, with PBL, I was uh, before I was already like pretty talkative to people. Like I would try to make new friends with like people that I'm around because I mean I'm around them, especially at school. You know you're gonna see them every day once in a while. Like it's good to just like know the people you're around, but. I think it made me more open in the sense that, um, like with, like with one of my group members, when I think of a project, I think of like, okay, we have a deadline, we have this thing we have to do, and let's just get it done. Let's just like put all our effort and let's get it over with. But I think with PBL, it makes me more open to like other people and like what they have to say, and it like really helps me like slow down and like think about okay, well, Kevin likes the idea of like, um, like. The gaming club, like bringing that into our project, and Dom really likes skateboarding, so we can make a whole event for people to have like their interests together and like, you know, have them collaborate with each other and stuff. And I think the fact that having those ideas open, like up in the air, and taking those ideas and being like, okay, well, let's like combine our ideas together. Let's let me take my idea that I really like, and I like the way this idea works, so we can, you know, bring it together and make something work out of it. I think it helps. It really helps you take on like new ideas, new thoughts that like I think like alone you could have never done. It's just what? it just makes you like so much more collaborative and open, even just in general. And that's a that's kind of a nice way we'll kind of put a bow on this, but we're gonna go around one more time and we're gonna start with Jude. How is PBL like an apple? So I want you to think about the attributes characteristics, the descriptors of an apple, or anything apple-like, and then think of the descriptors, the attributes, the characteristics of a PBL, and kind of put them together. But we're going to go around. And we're, we're all going to do it. We're that. all going to do it. An apple. <laughs> an apple. A-P-P-L-E. Everybody, I'll give, you, I'll give you 10 seconds to kind of Think of how is PBL like apple, like anything related to an apple, any part of an apple, any, okay?
We're going to end with the apple and PBL metaphor. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. We are ready. All right, go um, for it. So I think PBL is like an apple in the way that, you know, you plant plant an apple tree, right? And you, it's it's a it's over the year, and every year, or every day of the year, you know, you water it, you take care of it, you learn more, you learn how to get out of your comfort zone, you know, and you just kind of nurture these new skills, and then at the end of the year, you have all these apples or like little new things you learn that you get to take with you and have for your life in the future. So. Whoa, microphone drop. <laughs> that's that's going to be... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jacob. I think um, I'm going to use the longer one. <laughs> so um, I think every year of your life is like an apple in the way that we're all worms. And um, we all just chip away at life. And we all eat and eat and eat and eventually we become a bigger worm and we move on to the bigger apple. And I think PBL like that is just the biggest apple. <laughs> wow. And I think we're just, instead of being the biggest worm, we are the smallest worm. And throughout eating that apple, we grow and eventually we finish it and we graduate. On to the next apple. Next apple. <laughs> oh, I know. All my ideas are gone. I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use a sad one. Okay. <laughs> All right. oh, oh. Oh. So, an apple tree takes years to blossom, right? To actually sprout apples. And mm. my grandpa, before he passed away, planted um, apple seeds in my backyard. And I even questioned him, I was like, why are you planting these if you don't have much time? And he was like, well, these apples aren't for me, these are for y'all. And I, I think I kind of connect that to PBL, where like, especially right here with our senior PBL. Everything that we do is not for us, it's for whoever is still here. Oh, pass the Kleenex. <laughs> We're rocking the children right here. Um, all right. I think we end with just like, I don't think anyone. Oh, I got one. I got something. I got something. Oh, guys, you know what? if it comes My from grandma, you, it's better. No, I'm just kidding. I like it. Oh. Well. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I should have first. Okay, uh, so I would say PBL projects are like um, the different kinds of apples there are. So like red apple, green apple, and golden apple, yellow reddish <laughs> apple. Um, you know, all our PBLs are different and they're all unique, just like the different kinds of apples. And they all taste different when you take a bite into them. I know. So I know. Okay. Maybe. I know. So I know. I I know. I know. I think for me, it's more of like an apple seed. An apple seed starts off as something tiny, and as it grows over time, you have so many different ideas that it just keeps on growing and growing. And eventually that apple turns into uh, a tree. <laughs> yeah, a tree with many ideas. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> oh. It's apples bringing us together, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think an apple is kind of like when your mom tells you you need to eat healthy things and you're like, no, I don't want to. But then you try it out and it's actually not that bad. And yeah. Like heavy duty. Whoops. Nice and simple. Um, I guess oh. <laughs> an apple, you're like a little seed at first. Oh, yeah. So to me, that's like how we were at the beginning of the year. And then we kept growing. The apple's growing. And now we're like a big apple. Tree. A tree. Okay, we're an, we're an apple tree now. 
and with our PBL, like the progress, and now we're ready to get picked, and that's like graduation. Oh, wow. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> My app, like the way I interpreted the apple is like, there's like this big thing. And like it all stems off. It can have like different like stems. It's like rooting down. It has different ways to be interpreted. Like then you have like just different apples that come out from the from that one apple that you have. Wow. So Ethan just took mine. So an apple for me is how Jude said it. It was just it's a seed first. It grows by us just putting in all these ideas and effort and time into these projects. And then, at, at, when the time comes, the blo like the apples start blossoming, and they fall from the tree, and it has somebody to pick up. Which that's our legacy. Oh. That apple that we left behind is that legacy that someone could grab, and they can eat that apple and plant that apple again to make another tree, and just keeps going, keeps going in a little cycle. Ooh. That's what I, like. I think very similarly to what Kevin said. Um, I think we're all like different trees, and like our teacher is like the sunlight. And we all we all grow differently at like different paces, but we'll all we will all be big, big trees. We will have our own apples that will sprout new trees, and I think tying into the legacy, we're all just apple trees. <laughs> so I'd say the the way I think of an apple, like it representing an apple, is kind of like what Ethan said. Like it's it's all one thing. Like PBL, it's PBL is the tree. And then there's different ways you can interpret PBO, and that's the different apples and the different types. Like, it could be anything you really choose it to be. And you can choose to carry it on and plant that seed, or you can decide to just throw it away. And or make an apple pie. Or give it to someone else. Oh, apple pie. An apple pie. Or apple pie. That's good. <laughs> cool. I think the hardest part for PBL is the first year, which is what we're doing. We're setting the foundation and basically planting the apple seed. Uh, once the seed grows, if it had a strong foundation, it can last for a very long time, and it can continue, like providing for the future generations of Cast Tech. Wow. You guys have really good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Said the two at the end. <laughs> like took all my ideas and tried to. Yeah, this. All right. So. The way that I think of the apple is like the problem that each of us are trying to solve in work-based learning. So there's different ways that you can go about like taking this apple and getting the seeds out. You can either go straight in and take a bite out of the apple or you can you can take slices, you can cut them into itty bitty pieces. Like it depends on the person and it depends on the passion that you have for whatever the problem it is that you're trying to solve. I'm going to interpret this two ways. Um, <laughs> first way I'm going to interpret it is like, again, an apple is still an apple no matter what happens to it. You can take bites out of the apple, you can plant the apple anywhere it goes, but it's still that same apple. Just like our PVL projects, like let's say the newspaper. Let's say, um, let's say someone takes a bite out of the apple and then someone discards it and it goes into another apple. It's still that apple in a way. It's just a different variation of it so like you, even but even if you take all the chunks away from that apple it's still that apple it's still our project so you could take chunks and chunks and chunks away from the paper take chunks and chunks away from togetherness but it's still that at its core another way you can interpret it is apple the company like the company oh. apple so hear me out <laughs> so as, you all, as we all know, there's different types of variations of like iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, and other sorts of stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's still, you know, again, it's like the metaphor from before, it's still an iPhone. No matter how much you upgrade it, it's still the same sort of device. Like, I can say, sure, it looks a lot different from what it did before, but it's still the same Apple, it's still the same device. So like, again, like if the, the paper goes digital, if it turns into a new wave of format of presenting information to the students, at its core, it's still Cast Inc. It still has, no matter who changes ownership, no matter if Steve Jobs, whoever his name is, is ownership of it, we're still that fundamental seed of Cast Inc. or any one of our projects. We are the fundamentals of our projects. We are the projects in a way. At the end of the day, it's still us. At the end of the day, we are our projects and we are still our, as our people. <laughs>